Another collectible art book is called Painting at the Edge. It's a £24.95 book, which we're selling through bibliophilebooks.com at less than half price, £12. It is subtitled British Coastal Art Colonies, 1880 to 1930. And the front cover rep reproduces Dame Laura Knight's A Summer's Day by the Rock Pool. How lovely is this? A young mum looking on the children. An artist here with her easel. Gorgeous. Uh, scene of uh, coastal days. Look at this. Truly beautiful. This is the first collective study to bring together the story of Britain's far-flung coastal colonies at Newlyn, St Ives, Le Morna, Walberswick, Staithes, Cullercoats, Coburn's Path and Kukubri. And the artists were often linked through mutual friendships and had studied at Parisian ateliers and spent summers together at French colonies. And often they painted very quaint villages, literally clinging to the edges of the British Isles. And the activities of a, of a nation caught on the cusp, and this part nationalistic, part nostalgic era on the cusp of... of the Great War. There is um, George Edward Horton's On Tynemouth Sands in a lovely loose watercolour and the more immaculate coast scene with fishermen by Frederick William Jackson and Charles Rennie Mackintosh's Cactus Flower and lots of boats galore and beautiful, beautiful artworks and photographs. Large softback, £12 through bibliophilebooks.com. Painting at the Edge.